Welcome back, folks. The Let's Play Edna and Harvey, The Breakout. And when last we left off, we still haven't found the Reverend. And the only way that we can go to keep searching for him is up this ladder. And I'm honestly afraid to do so, because I know who's going to be up here. There's only one other person that we know that's out and about. And if it's that person, who knows what we're going to find. We really have no choice, so deep breath, let's see just how bad things are. <gasps> but what? Ah, Edna. What happened here? What have you done? That's what you get when you free an insane man from an asylum. You should never have done this. But you said I should make a key for you. And why did you listen to me? I shouldn't be free! Edna, you should have known this! Everybody has a right to freedom. Have a close look at the poor reverend. Edna, that's what the freedom you gave me looks like! This is your creation! But... I have taken precautions, so this will never happen again. I've locked us both up in here. I can't be allowed out in the world. Ever again? I can't stay here. I've got to get to my father's house. You have no choice. This is a puzzle that even you won't be able to solve. How do you manage to escape without setting me free at the same time? Oh no. I thought things would be bad, but this is a million times worse than what I thought it would be. I'm so sorry. And you. I knew you were bad news the moment I saw you, the moment you started telling us your plan. I need to deal with you. I need to get out of here without setting you free. And I know one way that I can do that. And I doubt the game is going to let me. All the people that saw the Keymaster and went, oh, there's nothing too bad about him. Do you believe that now? I didn't have the faintest idea. Let's talk to him. Not that he's going to say anything I want to hear. I still can't believe what you did. You'd better believe it. But do so quietly. If at all possible. I need to contemplate. Quietly, if possible. Hmm. Don't try any funny stuff. We'd better not try any funny stuff. We know full well what he's capable of. Don't try it. And that's exactly the same. Harvey, any advice? What do you think, Harvey? Is it my fault because I let him out? Don't listen to him. He's completely wacko. That he is. And those eyes are staring at us with anger and hate. This isn't gonna work. Don't try any funny stuff. Nope, we're gonna have to do something far more ingenious. The pen's unlikely to do anything either. In fact, all of the things in my inventory are not going to do anything. But I'm still gonna try. What am I supposed to do? Strike him from my memory? If only we could do that, Edna. If only. But it still wouldn't undo what he's done. I have to be careful with him. But potholders are just silly. We have to be exceptionally careful with him. Out of the frying pan, into the fire. Don't think like that, Edna. It's not your fault he's flipped his lid. I set him free, Harvey. Knowing full well that he's crazy. I'm really not sure anymore if what I'm doing here is wise. Either way, we have to get out of here. We can think about all of this afterwards. His work has my signature all over it. Don't blame yourself. She will, regardless of what you say. What am I supposed to do? Cut his bangs so he can see clearly for a change? It's not going to do anything, I'm afraid. His work has my signature. Don't. That's the same. What about this? His work has... Don't... That's also the same. Master key? 
I still have the master key. Keep it as a souvenir. I don't want to see any more keys. Can I have the key for the church then? No. You'll stay in here with me. He's not going to be convinced to let us out. Not that I thought he would be able to be. I wonder if one of his fuses is rusted through. The whole fuse box, if you ask me. And his collection of loose screws. And at least four beer cans. I should have foreseen this. Come on, Edna. Let's try using the headphones. Do you want these headphones? Considering the noise you're making, that wouldn't be a bad idea. But without being connected to anything, that would be a bit pointless, don't you think? Hmm. So handing the headphones over is something that we could be able to do, but they're not connected to anything. We know things that we can connect them to. Question to self. Is it wise to flip toenails at insane killers? He deserves no better. Sorry, Harvey, but I would like to finish this game without ever seeing Game Over. We've already seen a Game Over, albeit that was a joke Game Over. We're in serious danger of seeing a genuine one. We can interact with the window, but let's do this first. It's not my fault, honestly. We should get out of here as fast as we can. This guy is a real psychopath. Agreed. But there may be something on the Reverend's person that we'll need to get out of here. I didn't mean to do that. I know you didn't. I think he's had it. Indeed. I think he's... Let's try and see what Harvey thinks. What do you think, Harvey? Is this my fault? Don't think like that, Edna. You only had the best of intentions. You had no control over what the Key Master did. The Key Master did what he did. And there's nothing we can do about that now. No. I'm not surprised we're going to get an interaction like that. And I bet we'll get that for every single item. No. Indeed. Let's not. Let's instead look at the window. I can see the Alpha, but where is the Omega? Let's talk to the window. Can you see the light? Hallelujah. Seems pretty murky in here right now. I am not God's window cleaner. You're certainly not paid enough for that. I've got one already. Harvey? What do you think? What are your thoughts about this magnificent stained glass window? It would make impressive shards. That's exactly what I was thinking. Let's see if the polo mallet will get us through. Maybe we can smash the window and jump to freedom. Well, we can certainly damage the window, but it hasn't broken. If we do it again, will that work? No change. We're not going to be getting out this way. But that piece of the stained glass window is at least ours. Why? It's cold. Probably exceptionally cold. We can use something else to shatter it. That's something I didn't expect. That part is owned by the barkeeper. And that part is owned by Dr. Marcel. They don't cut glass. You could still probably shatter the glass, but it wouldn't be cutting. Just so people will say your handwriting is as beautiful as a rosette? Nah. You've been looking for a use for that ability for quite a while, and when one is presented, you still say no. Ah well. This is not a keyhole. I don't think it can be opened at all. Which is a shame, because we really need to get out of here. Now. Glass doesn't get rusty. That it doesn't. Headphones? All right. I'll just randomly try things. Whoops. I'd better watch more carefully what I'm doing in the future. That you had. Also, seeing that, uh, error window there, that was a blast of nostalgia. I don't see any screws. The only way we can go now is either up or down. Let's go up. 
way. Maybe there's a way we can get out up here. There is not. There is down, there is a bell, there is the distance, and there is the moon. At least up here, we can get some fresh air, and we can think. Think about what we're going to do. How we're going to get out of here. How we're going to deal with the Key Master. Let's look at the distance, and think. I can see the asylum in the distance, and there's the roadblock, and there... Isn't that Alu Man on the observation deck? Now I can't see him anymore. I'm not surprised you can't see him anymore, Edna. He just got struck by lightning. He was, after all, in a very high place covered in aluminium. I'd like to hope that he's okay, but I get the feeling he's not. Ah, I think Alu Man has recovered from the bolt of lightning. Oh, I spoke too soon. Way, way too soon. I don't think Alamon is going to be turning into a being of pure energy anytime soon. Help! I'm stuck here with a psycho! Unfortunately, Edna, no one can hear you. I'm not that desperate that I have to jump. You probably wouldn't survive it. I can pick up speed. I can pick up a habit, but I can't pick up the distance. You're just not trying hard enough, Edna. Okay, Harvey, we need to think. We need to brainstorm. How are we going to get out of here? Can you see our house, Harvey? Hmm, it all looks different from up here. We're not going to be able to find it from this vantage point. I'd rather not throw it away. It has served me well. And we might very well need it very soon. I'd rather not throw it away. It has served me well. That it has. Is that going to be the same for everything? I'd rather not it is. Yep. What about the pot? I'd rather not it is. I get the feeling all the items that we have here are going to be essential for completing the rest of the game. I can't scribble on the distance. That's why I don't like to travel. But if you move to the distance, Harvey, it won't be so distant anymore. And then you can scribble on it. I'd rather not it is. Can't get rid of those? I'd rather not throw this ability away. It has served me well. Good luck trying to throw an ability away. I'd rather not throw- It is- I've just realized that I'm potentially going to be throwing items away and I haven't saved. In fact, I haven't saved since I encountered the Key Master. It's probably a good idea that I save. I know the uh, toenail is probably going to fly away into the distance, but I can always get a new toenail. I may not be able to get a new set of headphones or the can of antioxidant. So, let's use the toenail. Hmm, this used to be more fun. I can understand how things have been dulled. Let's now use the headphones. No, I'd better keep my ears tuned to the here and now. Sensible thinking? What about the antioxidant? I'd rather not throw it away. It has served me well. What? We just got that! Hmm, you're right. Have we lost the antioxidant? We have lost the antioxidant! Telling me that we only needed the antioxidant to uh, remove the rust from that gate. Which means we're gonna load the game and keep the antioxidant. Because we could use that for many more interactions to come. Potentially. Now there are two more things that we can interact with here. The bell, which seems very important considering the clue that the Keymaster gave us, and the moon. Let us interact with the moon. That is no moon! It's a space station! That is exactly the same as before. Ow. That's the same as well. Can we use the moon from here? We are pretty high up. I'd rather not. That's the same. Can we take the moon? Even emperors and kings. That is also the same. We do have the headphones. We can use them on the moon. We'll have to wait for a full moon then. That's something that we've already heard from a different interaction, but we only got part of it. Any different things from here with the toenail? 
I want to be the first woman. That's the same. We'll just check everything. Master key. My key is sparkling like fairy dust in the moonlight. How does fairy dust sparkle? Sparklingly. I do like that voice line. It's very snazzy. This signature cannot be forged. Try as we might. What about just using the pen in general? You can't do that, Edna. Of course I can. I am completely gaga, you know. Edna, what have you done? You've doodled on the moon. Now everyone's going to see that from everywhere. Forever. They will all know that Edna was there and that she drew on the face of the moon. You've done a silly thing, Edna. A very, very silly thing. And I commend you for breaking the laws of physics to do so. That's just absolutely awesome. Well played. Can we also put the barkeeper signature on here? I'd rather not. That would depress every moonstruck person in the world. I understand the moon is yours and yours alone. Even if I could, I wouldn't do that. Dr. Marcel's name written on the moon, it's not going to happen. And that's no different. So you can doodle on this moon, this moon in particular. Okay, every single instance of the moon that we found in the game so far is the same moon, unless this version of the Earth has three different moons for some reason. But this one, this one can be drawn on. They just hid this interaction away, but I found it. And I'm so glad I did. It's a light moment in this very, very dreary part of the game. I admit it would look even. That's exactly the same. Won't fit in, I'm afraid. Not even if you stuff it a bit? No. That's the same as well. Why? So I don't. That's the same as well. I don't think it's a cosmic polo ball. We'll have to wait for. And that's the same as well. And that's where the, uh, interaction for using the headphones, the part that we heard, came from originally. Now let's look at the final thing here, the bell. Made in Motown. Tuned to J minor 7. J minor 7, eh? What's brown and sounds like a bell? Dung. I see what you did there, Edna. Very clever. With my bare hands? That's not going to make much noise. My chiropractor has advised me against it. That makes sense. Harvey? What do you think of this bell, Harvey? I've got bigger bells. Harvey, behave. What do you mean? I'm a talented bell ringer. I love bells. Oh, that's what you meant. Let's move on. Make any noise up there! I'll come and get you! Oh, that's not good. But it did annoy the key master. So we do need to make lots of noise. The game was pretty blatant in telling us that that's what we needed to do. Help. I'm sure people will see that. And also, how were you able to draw into the bell? Is the bell made of that feeble a metal, or did you just write with all of your strength? Probably the latter. Why? The bell is stone cold. That it is. This is not the lid for my pot. It would have to be a very large receptacle for that to be the lid. X, X, X. So you just drew that normally. You literally engraved the help into that. I wonder if that's going to change the sound of the bell. It probably will. Very slightly. My pinking shears would lose all of their teeth. That they would. Dr. Marcel was here. Now, let us try finding a signature. Oh, no signature to forge here. Fair enough. The key? It's not one of those vault bells that are all the rage right now. Alas. Antioxidant? <sighs> did it work? I think it did. If this worked, 
I'm sure the residents would be really happy. I can still remember how Dad used to swear. Our house must be nearby. It probably is. I guess I should refrain from loosening the screws. But if you unscrew the hangar assembly at the top of the tower... I already checked that. Doesn't work. The best laid schemes of mice and men! Our plan, unfortunately, has been foiled. And so, folks, when we come back, we are trapped here. Trapped in the church with the Keymaster. He's not going to let us out. He doesn't want to be free. And if we want to get out, we're going to have to find a way to do it without him noticing. Without him being able to follow us. Because who knows what he'll be able to do and what he will do if he gets out. We're going to have to deal with him. But how? We can't let what he did happen again. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.